Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're going to be doing a quick review on the Clearwater Systems Pod Hotel. If you want an easy way to feed live copepods and amphipods from your sump directly to your reef, bypassing any possibility of pumps or filter media, removing those nutritious little invertebrates before they get a chance to make it into the display, or if you wanna have a refuge for pods to reproduce without the messy sand and rock or space required for an in-sump refugium, then the Pod Hotel is a really cool solution. Having a healthy population of beneficial microfauna in your reef is a great way to help naturally supplement the diet of your fish or keep hard to feed fish like dragonets fat and happy while transitioning to prepared foods. Making sure copepods and amphipods have a safe, hospitable place to reproduce can make all the difference to maintaining a bustling population of beneficial and nutritious pods, especially since in the display, many fish will actively hunt pods day in and day out, not giving them the opportunity they need to proliferate. And while traditional refugiums do a really great job, many reefers prefer not to muddy up their sump with sand and rock, and making sure enough pods make it from the sump refugium to the display can be difficult, especially with all of the filtration and pumps that stand in their way. Clearwater's Pod Hotel is a simple but ingenious way to provide shelter and refuge for your pods, keeping them in close proximity to each other so that they can find mates to reproduce frequently and maintain a healthy and stable population without the mess of a traditional fuge while also giving you an easy way to harvest and feed those pods directly to your tank. No pumps or filters to get in the way or mince those pods to bits before they make it up to where your fish are. In the box, you'll find the Pod Hotel with six pre-installed Pod Hotel plates. The design is really simple. The Pod Hotel consists of an acrylic frame and six corrugated plates. Stack them inside the frame so that they alternate and place the Pod Hotel in your sump, display tank, or rear chamber of your all-in-one and the pods will naturally find it a hospitable place to hang out and take up refuge. The design also makes cleaning the pod hotel really easy. Disassemble the pod hotel and flush the plates with water to remove any detritus trapped inside, reassemble it and put it back into your tank or sump for your pods. Not only is it going to help those wayward pods find each other, settle down and maintain a healthy population, but it's also going to help actively feeding live pods to your tank a much easier process. After a few days in your sump, the pod hotel should be full of the little critters. You can then move the pod hotel up into your display and either shake it out to release the pods into the water column for your fish to enjoy immediately, or just place it in the tank overnight and the pods will move out into the rockwork of your display for your fish to hunt naturally. In the morning, move it back down to the sump and after a few days, you can repeat the process and have a continuous supply of pods for your inhabitants to feed on. You can also use multiple pod hotels if you want to be able to feed pods to the tank daily, rotating one pod hotel up to the display, leaving the rest down in the sump to repopulate, which can be super helpful for fish like mandarin gobies, other dragonets, finicky wrasses, or any other fish that is heavily reliant on live foods. Now, when you first add the pod hotel to your tank, pods may not immediately flock to it. It can take a week or two for the pod hotel to begin populating with different pods. This is largely because the pod hotel becomes much more attractive to them once it develops a natural biofilm and traps some nutrients and detritus that pods are attracted to. From there on out, if it's in the system and pods are around, they're going to want to take up shelter in it and they will. Naturally, bristle worms and pods share a lot of the same territory, and like pods, those small worms like to stuff themselves into tight crevices and spaces, and if you want to reduce the population of bristle worms in your display, rather than taking the pod hotel out of your display after leaving it there overnight, you can leave it in for an extra day or two, and there is a very good chance some bristle worms will have moved in. Then it's just a matter of taking the pod hotel apart, rinsing it out, cleaning it up, putting it back together, and putting it back down in your sump to repopulate with pods. While pods are an awesome resource for the tank, fish nutrition and feeding should incorporate a wide variety of different food types to accommodate all of the different fish in your tank. Ryan has a great video on fish feeding and nutrition and you can check it out right here. Lots of info, everything you're gonna need to make sure that you're giving your fish everything they need to live long, happy, healthy lives and just look awesome the whole time. Because a happy, healthy fish is a beautiful fish.